What does it feel like to deal with depression and anxiety? So I've been MIA this weekend because I've been dealing with symptoms and, um, you know, which it's, it always happens kind of like out of nowhere. Um, the day that it kind of hit me, I, that morning I was fine. I went for my walk. Um, I was in a good mood. I was listening to music. You know, I was good. And then, um, it kind of just hit me. I got really tired and really exhausted. And clearly it's still affecting me. Um, I get really emotional out of nowhere. Like I'll start crying and I have no idea why. I know there's some shit in my life <clears throat> that I'm trying to get through right now. Um, but yeah, having depression and anxiety at, th at the same time, like, it's like a tug of war in my head. Like yesterday, um, I was laying on the couch and I felt so tired and I felt so exhausted and I didn't want to do anything. But then in my head, I'm like, oh, I have this to do, the kids are there, I have to make dinner. I haven't done anything for my account, I haven't done anything for the business, I've just kind of left everything. And it's like while my body is exhausted and my mind is exhausted, my thoughts are still going crazy, reminding me of all the shit that I have to do. So it's like... It's like you have no desire, but at the same time, you care so fucking much. And then you just break down because you don't know which way to go. When I'm feeling like this, I literally just want to crawl under a rock and just disappear. And that's why I haven't been on IG because I just want to disappear. I don't want people seeing me like this. I don't want to talk about what I'm feeling or what I'm dealing with. I don't want to be a burden. And that's how a lot of us feel, right? We don't want to be a burden because people don't want to see this. People don't want to hear this. People want to hear how happy you are. People want to hear how well you're doing, what you're creating, what you're accomplishing. Sometimes we're not accomplishing nothing. Sometimes we're just trying to get through the fucking day. Sometimes just getting up in the morning feels like a battlefield. And it's so hard. It's hard to talk about too because a lot of times we have no idea. Like I, I have not been able to stop crying for the last two days and I have no fucking clue why. It just gets overwhelming. And I think that's why that's why I get emotional and that's why the tears just won't fucking stop because it legit gets overwhelming. It's like all this shit inside of me just wanting to get out. Yesterday, I ended up passing out on the couch. I just closed my eyes and just went to sleep for a bit. Because that's the only time that I don't have to think or I don't have to feel. Because as an empath, and as somebody who has a big heart and lives life pretty much out of love, like, I have so much, so much passion and love inside of me it gets too much sometimes. It just gets overwhelming. And it makes me feel too much, good or bad. I just feel everything so fucking deeply. And sometimes it really sucks. So 
sometimes I just want to stop. So when I feel that way, I go to sleep. Because it's the only time that it stops. And as a mom, it's hard because you get into these feelings and, you know, you're, you're dealing with your depression and like yesterday the kids were on their tablets and computers and I was sitting on the couch watching TV and I started crying out of nowhere and I kind of like hid my face in the pillow and kind of like pretended I was sleeping just to get the tears out hoping that they wouldn't come up to me and see me and ask me what was wrong. It's a lot harder when you're a mom. Everything just gets so hard. But I'll be okay. And this is why I don't talk about it. Because the second you get emotional or the second you say that you're not okay, everybody like flocks and everybody's like oh my god are you okay are you okay do this and you should do that and you should do this oh cheer up and be happy oh smile i don't want to when i'm feeling like this 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 is the time where i get to just stop life for a moment and i get to think and i get to recenter myself and kind of like re-explore myself In my darkest moments is when I can I reconnect with myself. So yesterday I was talking to a friend and you know he mentioned getting on medication because dealing with mental illness it slows down everything. You know you own your own business or whatever you're trying to do it just slows it down because when it hits you can't just push through it, right? So. You mentioned medications, and I was like, no. <laughs> as heavy as this feels, and as hard as this, I would much rather do go through this than be on medication and mask it. Because this is when I see clearly. This is when I realize what really matters. It's in these dark times that others' opinions just don't matter. Like, I get so tired that nothing, just nothing matters. This is when I realize who I really am and who I don't want to be. And when I'm not feeling like this, my anxiety takes over. My anxiety takes over and tries to convince me that I have to be somebody else. I have to do these things to please people or whatever, whatever, whatever. So no, I don't want to be on medication because my depression shows me what really matters to me. Yeah, it's hard. And it sucks, and I wish I could stop. But I am so grateful that I get to see my truth through the tears, you know? Yeah, I'll be okay. <laughs> we'll get through it, because that's what we do. It'll pass. And when it does pass, we'll know exactly who we want to be and what we want to do because we've had the time to think about it and reconnect. Don't hate your mental illness. Embrace it. Alright, see you next time.